All right, so our exercise today is a lower lat leverage technique that I like to use. This exercise is something unique, um, which I really personally found to develop the lower lats very quick and effectively. Uh, as you guys can imagine, anything in back exercise or who have been training for a while, a lot of the back exercises don't necessarily activate or focus directly on the lower lats unless you're in a technique or um, utilizing something like we're gonna show you today. So what we've got is Crystal is gonna show you exactly how we're gonna do the lower lat technique. So what we wanna do is we wanna have the weight nice and light. Unfortunately, we don't have a great deal of bars available to us here, but pretty much what you wanna do is you wanna have a slight bar or potentially even a rope that you can use. Um, I'd probably recommend using a bar until you develop uh, some good balance and sustainability um, in your muscle control. Uh, and then you can sort of go towards more of a single arm cable or a rope or something like that. But this way you're gonna get better support, better balance, um, and you'll be able to effectively initiate this movement correctly uh, before you start to advance in your technique a bit further. So what you wanna do is you wanna look for either a V-bar of a wider formation. You don't wanna have a close grip, you wanna have a wider grip. So I love the V-bars that kind of flare up and they're nice and wide, about shoulder width. But today what we're gonna do is gonna use this uh, EZ bar as it will allow us to hit the prone position a lot better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the dips in here in both sides, pinkies in, and this is how we're gonna utilize this technique today. So I'm gonna get Crystal to grab this while the weight is nice and light. As you'll note here with Crystal's feet, her feet are actually gonna be on the floor today. So what I want Crystal to do is grab that weight and I want her to sit right back on the edge of this bar here, or bench. Okay, now Crystal's gonna use her legs as a base of support. Now the point of this exercise, you don't and you shouldn't be loading up the weight anything past 30, 40 kilos. Unless obviously you've got an extreme amount of strength, you can activate your lats extremely well and you're an advanced trainer. For a beginner, you should only be on the first one or two um, weight stacks. That's about it. Alrighty, so Crystal's gonna balance herself through here. As we lower down with her upper body, I want her to push her hips back towards the wall. So I want you to push your hips right back, right off that bench. So she's kind of pretty much poking her backside out and lowering down. Now with this being the case, you're gonna see here in the lats, it's gonna take the motion here. All right, what we wanna do is we wanna get nice and flat. I don't want her to come up any higher. All I want her to do is activate the thoracic mobility. So as she contracts, I want her to squeeze her elbows into her body, pulling up through the chest and then rounding around my hand here. That's it, come up a little bit higher. So what we're looking for is you wanna have good thoracic mobility. So coming up a little bit higher, up higher, up higher. Boom, there you go. So as she stretches, she's gonna go down flat. As she comes up higher, she's gonna elevate her chest. She's gonna round around here, squeezing her elbows through and activating the thoracic spine. So this is where you'll find the lower rectus attached into the lower lat insertion point. Um, and that's exactly how you wanna do this technique. So you're gonna be nice and flat. You want your elbows high at all times and then you wanna squeeze them in, locking in hard, pulling that chest up, but also forcing these lower rectus into the floor. So the only motion that you should ever see is from her thoracic spine, pulling and lowering the motion. The arms are used as the leverage technique to open up the spine, open up the lats, and get that full stretch. And then the contraction is through the thoracic spine, locking in those lower lats right here. And as you can see here, when she digs her elbows in close to the body, so full stretch, Dig your elbows in nice and close. Boom, and hold that here. So as you can see here, this is the direction that we're gonna be seeing, right in here where the lower lats and the Christmas tree sort of formation will occur. So this is a great little technique to really get those lower lats, work on the thoracic mobility as well, and get it all firing in this main chain. And that's it, this is how we're gonna work on the lower lats and use the leverage technique.